in this video, we're going to do step ups. So we're going to do these one at a time. We're not going to do alternating because what I want you to do is do one leg, take a little bit of a break, little rest, and then do the other leg. This is going to allow you to apply the same intensity and effort to both legs. That way you are getting a lot of symmetry. We don't want one leg stronger than the other. So what I want you to do, start off with the weaker one still. So I'm going to start off with my left leg to show you this first one. We're going to take a bench or you can use a platform, whatever works best for you. Start off small. And then as a way to progressively overload this, you can up the height of the bench or the box, whatever you're using. So I'm going to start off with a regular bench. Just be careful that it's not too like soft on the edge. You want to get your foot to a nice place where the bench is super solid that you're not going to slip off of it. And then we're going to drive up just like we do for a lunge. We're going to drive up through mostly our heel, but think of grabbing the bench like monkey feet. So your three points of contact, your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel. Make sure you got some flat soled shoes on. That's going to help you out a ton. We're going to drive up. You're going to feel that into your glutes. So on the way down, nice and slow, feel that stretch. And you're going to feel that knee wanting to go all over the place. The more you do these, the more balanced you get. So if you do need something to balance with, do this close to a wall, hold onto the wall whenever you're doing them. And as you get more balanced, you'll be able to go slower and your knee won't be going all over the place. Nice and slow like that, right? So we're going to up it a little bit, add a little bit of weight. You can do this holding one dumbbell and this will help you to get a little bit stronger with it. So if I'm doing one dumbbell, it'll look like this. I like to challenge myself and hold it one hand or the other. So either way, you can switch it up every time or add to both to both hands. And this is obviously going to be the hardest one, the heaviest one. So I think this one works really well to balance from side to side. So that's how you can progress this and overload it so that you are getting stronger on a weekly basis. Try this one out and let us know what you think.